What's a humane way to cook a lobster? Use a knife. Also give the lobster a knife so it's a fair fight. Kill them beach cutting through the cross on their back starting at the head. Is to plunge a knife straight down into the carapace. Part of exoskeleton on the lobster's back. Place the tip of a sharp chef's knife behind the lobster's eyes. Right below where the claws meet the body and halfway to the first joint. Swiftly plunge the knife down through the head. The legs will continue to move a bit afterward but the lobster is in fact dead. That's the way to do it. Wait for it to die of natural causes. Day in and day out. Locking eyes with that snarky crustacean within its tank. Both understanding the agreement that the winner gets to eat whoever dies first. Say I love you to it. After 10 years break up. This is the most humane way I can think of person shrugging. Well first if they have good insurance look into assisted suicide because it really should be their choice to die if we're being humane. People seem to have really poor understanding of lobster physiology and YT videos just highlight these inaccuracies. I'll argue that whatever method renders the lobster's nervous system inactive the quicket is the most humane. Pithing. Cutting through the lobster in part or whole is widely considered the most humane, but is actually done more for our benefit and delicate sensibilities than for the lobster. Lobster have three ganglion nodes spread out across the body approximating three brains. Much like some insects, the largest is where the abdomen, tail, and the carapace meet. Another is near the center of the carapace, and the smallest is a bit behind the rostrum. Eye horns. Unless you sever all three, you're not really doing the job. It's rarely done in the kitchen because for a variety of reasons. Not the least of which is that causes inconsistent cooking with most techniques. It's not a popular notion. But other than severing all three ganglion. Drowning. They can't respirate in fresh water. Along with the heat of boiling water will kill it the least amount of time. I think the fact that they can splash boiling water around the kitchen is the biggest reason this. Isn't more frequent. They aren't the creatures most people think they are. They have only about 100,000 neurons regardless of their age. About the same as most flies. Cockroaches and some larger ants have some 1 million. Fish vary, but have about 5 million. We have some 80 plus billion. We don't seem to worry about this when it comes to cooking other foods. Such as fish. It's likely because we have to manually dispatch them whereas fish just asphyxiate. The same people who will step on a spider or swat a fly without a second though get all freaked out about what to do with a lobster. Thanks for caring enough to ask. Bedtime story, then chloroform. Get out of my head I was just talking about this and it was the first thing I saw in my feed. Please don't boil lobsters alive. Stab through their brain to kill them instantly. YouTube will show you the way. Shotgun blast to the head should do it. Turn the lobster upside down so its belly is up. In one quick motion. Stab the lobster in the middle of its head then quickly come down with your knife across its whole body. Almost like if a piece of wood fell down while sitting vertical. That's kind of a funny question. I'm a meat eater for sure. Let's face it. No matter what you do it comes down to how you kill it so you feel better. He still dies. I'd still boil them. Just kill him first. There isn't a humane way to cook something that isn't dead. You can stick them in a freezer for 1520 minutes. This sedates them without freezing the meat and makes the plunge through the head a bit easier to accomplish. You can massacre them with a knife first and then boil them. Splitting in half lengthwise is common. 
Or you can just skip the psycho killer move and put those giant mud bugs in a pot of boiling water set it and forget it. You probably do not give it a thought to step on a spider or ants. But because lobsters are bigger, you think of Sebastian from The Little Mermaid with a personality. Placing a lobster, crab and crawfish into boiling water is the best way to preserve the flavor and they are dead. Within a couple of seconds, not minutes. Face it, you're going to eat the animal. So why quibble about how it is dispatched? You are conflicted and I see that. But if you have a moral conundrum about preparing the food you eat, perhaps you shouldn't eat the lobsters. But take them to the shore and release them. Technically, the boiling is humane especially in this case. If you're trying to kill them by other means, you're more likely to mess up and simply prolong their suffering. The most humane thing to do would be to just not eat lobster. But we're obviously not talking about that here. Not killing them at all is the only humane way to treat a living thing minding its own business. L. Leon. Worried. Check out Guga Foods for a pretty good demonstration of the technique. And also because it's a great channel. The short version of it is that right before cooking, you take a sharp, heavy chef knife and make a cut facing outward on the head of the lobster. Killing it instantly. It is still widely debated whether they feel pain or not upon being boiled. Personally, if someone were to cook me, I'd really appreciate them splitting my skull in half before they put me in a boiling pot of water. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.